Kyrie, um, going on kind of your creativeness, it feels like every game, Mavs fans, team, see something new that we haven't seen before. Where do you get your creative drive from and getting new new ideas? So many people probably get ideas from watching your games. Uh, what do you mean? Just who? Where are you getting new ideas from to figure out all these different layup packages? Because <laughs> people look at you for inspiration usually when it comes to that. I mean, that's a great question. Uh... Or is there any? Is there is there anybody? <laughs> No, I, I like to say I'm a mix of all the greats that have come before me, and I watched a ton of film on them, uh, and also the current players that are playing, and also the younger generation. I, I, I steal moves all the time, just like people steal moves from me. Um, it's just little tricks of the trade, you know, comes with being a professional and, and also approaching it like an amateur every single day as a student of your craft. And, you know, I'm never too great to learn something from someone else, or I'm never too good to learn something from someone else. So I, I just take that approach, and I watch a ton of guys. I go home, like, you know, right now I'll break my fast in like an hour or so, and I'll just be sitting in front of my computer. My wife will bring me my food, and my kids will be running in and out. But I'll be on YouTube for hours like I used to do when I was a kid and uh, just create that balanced space where I could go home and, and get all that uh, competitive drive out, you know, because I, I do still have adrenaline after games. It's still very competitive. I'm, I'm trying to calm myself down right now, um, you know, even though the game ended like an hour and a half ago. Uh, but, yeah, I just try to – take uh, as many little tricks of the trade from people that are very successful and also those that are ascending in the, on their journey. I know you've been asked this before, but speaking of that fast and Robin, and how, how difficult or not difficult is it playing, <sighs> kind of just giving some light to that situation? Yeah, uh, man, uh, Ramadan is a special month, so it's a special time. And yeah, it's just you try not to think about the suffering too much and, and really focus on the journey with God and the path that you're on and, and just stay focused on that and stay disciplined. It's, it's a difficult journey. And, um, you know, to be able to play 48 minutes uh, and, and not do it with having a drink or, or any food in my, in my stomach uh, is nothing short of a miracle. So there's definitely a universal God out there that's protecting me. And I got to give credit to, to him. Sorry, this is kind of random, but Peyton Watson's a guy who's really come along for the Nuggets this year and developed. Yeah. You mentioned getting to play with you and some other NBA guys when he was back in high school. On the what, what, did, what did Peyton say? Huh? What did Peyton say he, about that, that day? Uh, well, well, there were a couple days. He said that once he was able to beat you going back. And I know he said that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what did he say? I want to know exactly what he said verbatim. I don't have to. But you don't have to quote. He said the first time it wasn't quite like that, but he was kind of just starstruck to be in the room. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll tell you about Peyton, man. Uh, I walked into the gym. I'm like, who is this little kid right here that's, you know, towering over me, you know, and picking me up down there, like, above half court, and it was just pickup. Um, but uh, the crowd on the side, it was like a small gym, and they started getting into it, and me and Peyton were going at it for, like, eight straight possessions. And I will admit that he scored on me a few times, and – um, we were going at it, and uh, that was kind of my telltale sign that he was going to be uh, a good player in this league for a long time. He had no fear. He didn't back down, and um, he got me better that day.